skin hanging from the bones. It's all loose. My skin isn't attached to my face. What is this? It's all just hanging. The removal of facial fillers that some claim has impacted their whole body. See, my skin kind of looks loose when I think about it in a certain light. Um, and this for me is one of the biggest issues with this particular video, which is it's very hard as a clinician to say that those patients are wrong, but at the same time, there's definitely room for them to be wrong because I know when you look at your face with fear, which is a lot of what a good clinician understands patients do about any issue, you can often pull out particular problems. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that you'd be able to get baggy skin in your legs from having a little bit of high layers in your face, which is what this video shows. And although it's unregulated and they say untested, that's only for use for dissolving dermal filler. This medication has been around since the 50s, I think, used in medicine to dissolve um, or to allow drugs to disperse. So although it is untested for a specific indication, it has been used in the human body before. And it's only since aesthetic patients have been having lots of it that we've had more of this discussion around whether it's causing a secondary problem. I don't see a lot of evidence that there's something certain going on here. Of course, we'll pay attention because that's what a good clinician does. But we need a lot more data and information before we make the conclusion that this is really causing the problems that you see in the patients in this video.